Hi guys, welcome to my channel Sai Spiritual Healing. Hope everything is fine at your end and all are doing well. Today's tarot guidance of the day is The Five of Pentacles is all about recognizing your needs and taking action to fulfill them. Doing as much as you can do with what little you have. Admitting you need help. Embracing the aid that comes your way. Focusing on what you have versus what you don't. Looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. Times are tough but there's always a light ahead. Reach out if you need. You are experiencing a temporary financial hardship or negative change in circumstances. You are feeling left out in the cold and may feel isolated. Know that this is only temporary and will pass. Whining achieves nothing. If the situation is unbearable, it's time to define exactly what resources you have on hand and what needs are critical. Prioritize by focusing on what you can actually do. You'll avoid the trap of self-pity and depression. Too few customers, too few innovations, too few resources. All too often, we focus on what we lack. Turn this around by taking a fresh look at the resources you do have. Watch for offers of help. Consider mergers and partnerships. Rather than focus on the deficits, consider what could be. No matter how much is given, some people never feel they have enough. A relationship that drains your wallet and spirit may prove too expensive to maintain in the long run. If you accept offers of aid from loved ones, be sure you define and stick to the terms of repayment or be prepared to lose the relationship. Faith can turn trial into triumph. Rather than give in to a depletion of spirit, turn to your faith for support. Turn a difficult situation over to your higher power. Pray for guidance. Be bold. Ask the universe for what you really need. The response may surprise you. There is no need to make plans because there is a big chance that everything will go wrong. There may be a feeling of dissatisfaction with your life, but to live to the fullest, you need to be able to share and in order to share, you need to have something to share. The Eight of Swords is all about honoring limits, respecting the rules, deciding to go on a diet for your health's sake, recognizing you cannot always be in control, identifying obstacles to further progress, refusing to think about unhealthy or unethical options, asking for assistance. Are you feeling stuck? Remember, most limits are in your head. You may feel trapped by a situation or your thoughts that you have no choice or that your hands are tied. The negative thoughts you have are holding you back from finding the right solution. Change your thoughts to change your life. Knowing your own limits is important. Respect them. Whatever the issue, you're barking for a reason. There's no harm in refusing to move forward for now and no shame in saying no. A mature person communicates what he or she needs with absolute confidence. Some restrictions are necessary, others are merely tradition. 
Ethics demand you play by the rules. Sacred cows, however, are fair game. What are the obstacles exactly? If your limits didn't exist, how might you move forward? Thinking freely will open unexpected options. Feeling boxed in, you have exactly as many options as you imagine you do. There is a way out, but someone is refusing to see it. A relationship should broaden horizons, not limit them. If the rules are uncomfortable, perhaps it's time to re-examine them. The free spirit cannot be contained by the physical constraints. As you learn to cultivate balance and focus, you may find that most obstacles are self-imposed and most limits are strictly imaginary. When you focus your will, blindfolds and bonds will fall away. Today you may face restrictions, you may feel constrained or pinched, but do not forget that you not need to lose face in any situation. You have enough strength and internal energy to win even in what seems impossible. The Page of Cups is all about showing your emotions freely, throwing yourself into romance, nursing a secret crush, indulging in romantic fantasy, Starting a new relationship, experiencing love for the first time, stay open hearted and be ready for emotional surprises. Intuitive messages and creative opportunities are flowing in. You are in a time of curiosity and possibility. Your sensitivity, idealism and dreamy aspirations have you feeling young at heart. A gung-ho spirit goes a long way. Be sure to pair it with due diligence. Pair your enthusiasm with practical preparation and you'll find yourself maturing at a surprising rate. Be indulgent of beginners and channel their enthusiasm into useful projects. Be wary of those who overstate their skills. Keep your own skills sharp by pursuing every opportunity to be a student. Generate change by embodying enthusiasm. Fools rush in. Don't mistake the heady rush of infatuation for the enduring stability of true love. Why rush? You have got plenty of time to decide what works and what doesn't work for you. Before making commitments, learn the ropes. Embrace a new faith in addition to pursuing what feels right. Plumb the depths. Invest time pursuing the roots of your spiritual practice. Become well-grounded in what you believe so you'll be well prepared to explain your practice to others. Fate should be on your side. You can receive a gift that does not require anything in return. And with sufficient desire, you can open new opportunities and find the strength to get what you have planned. Today you can expect pleasant little things such as compliments or unexpected but pleasant situations. Friends, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications whenever I upload new videos. The readings are general and it is not gender specific. Tarot only reads the energies feminine and masculine so everybody can watch it and don't forcefully take the full reading onto you. Just 
take what resonates and leave the rest as it's a general reading. Thank you.